I hope you've enjoyed hearing about David Anderson. I, I, I enjoyed putting this together. Um, it gave me something to do while I'm sitting here hobbling on a new hip that I didn't know I'd have because I thought my summer was ruined, but uh, contacting the, these folks uh, and having them come talk, I knew it would be neat. I mean, it's, it's incredible, the, the community that David had around him, the collaborators, um, the good minds, the good thinkers. Um, it, it truly is, it's sort of, you know, Jim ended with, you know, there are centers of excellence, and, and we sometimes get jealous because they get the funding again. The hard part is truly identifying them. Sometimes you say, ah, oh, this, this center is getting this money again all because of, you know, they've got a name for them, but they're not doing good stuff. In the case of, of David, and, and I learned a lot, you know, he was my advisor and mentor. And, um, um, God, I went from, you know, two graduate degrees to being uh, on the faculty with him, uh, quite daunting, uh, the, the faculty we had at Colorado State University, to um, being, quote, the department head and, and his quasi-boss. Um, and, you know, he also had an incredible ability to send you a memo or a letter at some critical point in your, 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 your career, and it might be a little critical, make you think about it. Going from interim department head and thinking about being department head, I got a letter I saved. And it was all the things that I said, I mean, I know, just about everybody in this room who's a faculty, what's the last thing in the world you will ever want to be? <laughs> I knew that, and, and, but I did have, uh, you know, some rational reasons. If you, you know, buy me a beer someday, I'll, I'll give them to you. Uh, the quick and dirty is, I also knew what a hiring process is like in a failed search and having someone as a leader again who you're like, Oh my God, we have to live with that person now for at least five years. And, and so I said, you can, you can survive this. And, you, and, and it's a wonderful group to be with. But David wrote a very thoughtful and critical letter where I had to say, yeah, you hit a lot of the high points, but you know, I'm gonna ignore him. On the other hand, he was incredible at coming back throughout my career. I didn't throw up, there was a picture that I had there. No, that's not my talk where um, I think I saw him here. Is Fauch here in Bestian? Yeah, he was. These guys at some point uh, had been department head for a while, and there's, uh, I don't know what they were doing it for, but a gathering, and, and we're all in 107, our room that we used to meet, and they, they have me in a cheese head from Wisconsin because these guys are there and thanking me. And in the background of this picture is Dave smiling. Because on numerous occasions, he said, you know, what you did there was good. You know, he said, you know, you, you've done, and at, at, at some, a few times he said, you know, yeah, um, you've, you've done a good job at this. And so, um, and, and that was, got huge hearing that from him. So um, those little things, and maybe some of you have a few letters from Dave in your <laughs> drawer that you've gotten over your time. Um, for those of you early in your career, I'm sorry you didn't get a chance to meet him. He would have been the light in some of your eyes. He would have enticed you to work with him. I miss his mentorship, his leadership, and most of all, his friendship. But I'm thankful that I learned so much from him that I'm better off in having touched the power that is David Anderson. With that, I'd like to thank you for coming. I hope I see some of you at the social, which is down at the Rio, um, above it. Um, and what an awesome group, thank you. <laughs>